Welcome. Today we're going to be talking about the level up system. We got it installed in our class A here. We're going to cover a few topics. Uh, first off, we're going to talk about operation, both in auto and manual mode. The second thing we're going to talk about is retraction. We're going to talk about basic troubleshooting and maintenance. We're also going to talk about manual override. All right, so let's get started. All right, so now that we're inside the unit, we're ready to go camping. We're ready to deploy the auto leveling system. First step is we'll go ahead start the unit make sure the parking brake is engaged the parking brake must be engaged the engine must be running for this system to level properly once that occurs we simply turn the touchpad on you see it says ready jacks up the next step is we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit auto level before we do that though let's talk about that red light the red light indicates which side of the unit is low in this case the road side or the left side is low all right, so we'll hit auto level, and then we'll just follow the prompts right on the screen. The one thing that's really important with the auto leveling system, especially on class A's, is that you do not move around while the unit is leveling. That can throw the system off and cause an auto level failure. All right, so you see how the front flashed briefly? and now it's still flashing the left. The green light in the center lets you know that the system is active and that it's seeking level. So we're fairly level front to rear. We're gonna go ahead and do some final adjustments. The green light in the center is now flashing. That tells us we're very, very close to level. And it's just gonna do a few minor adjustments and then we'll be done. It's making sure that the jacks are fully grounded so you have full contact to the, the, the ground. And there we go, we're all set. Now all you have to do is simply turn the touchpad off and you're good to go. Now I'm gonna show you an alternative to that, manually leveling. So just like we talked about before, set your park brake, make sure your park brake is fully engaged. Start the unit. This provides power to the system so it has proper operating power. Once that happens, turn your touchpad on now you have two options. You can scroll up or you can scroll down. The choice is yours on that one. All right, so now we're at manual level. Press enter to begin. We press enter. Now all we have to do is run the front jacks down until they make contact with the ground. And then we're going to lift them one to two inches after that. It gives us a nice stable platform to work off of. All right, we're gonna repeat the process with the rear jacks. All right, now that everything's level, the next step is you can use some point of reference to what you determine as level. I'm just gonna use the touchpad here. It's showing that I'm low in the rear. So I'm gonna press and hold the rear giving it a little burst. You can see how it changed from red to green. Um, I don't have to do any side to side, but you could if you needed to. If the left light was flashing, you could push left. If the right was flashing, you'd push right. The red light indicates the side that's low, so it gives you the ability to get it right where you need to. Once you have this done, go out, make sure all your jacks are making contact with the ground, and you're done. All right, so once we're ready to leave, we're done camping. Just like we talked about before, make sure your park brake is engaged. 
Start the unit to make sure you have proper power to the controller. Give the controller a second to boot up. All right, turn the touchpad on. You see it says ready jacks down. That means your leveling system is deployed. Now you have two options for this. You can either press up or down until you get to the retract all button and then you simply hit enter or you have the other option of pressing and holding the retract button which is what we're going to use. Once the jacks are fully retracted it'll say ready jacks up and then you just need to go out and visually confirm that all four jacks were fully retracted before transit. So we're going to press and hold this. Now it says auto retract all jacks. still retracting takes just a second there there we go now it says ready jacks up you're good to go in the event you don't like how your unit is leveling or you want to change it slightly setting zero point for the system is very very easy so I'm gonna talk you through the steps right now first things first just like we've talked about before parking brake and ignition are key so make sure the unit's running, Park a brake, parking brake is set. The first thing we're going to do is turn the touchpad on. We'll go down to manual mode. And we're going to manually level the unit first. Alright, so just like we talked about before, I've got a gentleman in back that's helping me with this. I'm going to simply run my front jacks down until they make contact with the ground and lift the unit slightly. All right, there we go. I'll do the same thing to the rear of the unit. All right, now the unit all four jacks are touching the ground. I've got somebody outside as well. One person can do this. It's just easier for us here to have a couple people. All right, so right now he's telling me that I need to raise up my left side just slightly. There we go. All right, now the unit is level to the two foot level we put on the floor. The ideal way of doing this is level front to rear, and then do side to side, and then do front to rear again. You always want to level on a flat surface. Um, the floor is the ideal location because it's a nice stable platform. All right, so once we have it there, turn the touchpad off. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna hit front five times, and rear five times. All right, so here we go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. As you see, as soon as you hit that five and five, all the lights flash on the touchpad and you get that audible beep. If you look at the screen, it'll actually tell you what to do next. Zero point calibration, press enter to set, press power to exit. So if I was in a situation where I decided I didn't want to do this, I could get out of it simply by turning the touchpad off. And that will not affect the previous programmed zero point. But if I'm happy where the unit is setting, all I have to do is press enter. It'll say zero point stability check. It reminds you to please wait, set still. And It'll tell you what it's doing. So right now it's configuring. Zero point was set successfully and we're good to go. Next we're going to talk about manual override, basic troubleshooting, and preventative maintenance. Uh, first thing we're going to talk about though is we're going to talk about the reservoir itself. Uh, the reservoir itself, the fluid that we use is ATF, Dextron 3, or Mercon 5. Uh, the recommended Replacement on this is a minimum five years, barring some type of contamination. If you get a contaminated fluid, you'll know it because when you look at this, it should be nice and clear. If it's not clear, if it's cloudy, milky, or discolored in any way, you should have that fluid replaced because you have some type of contamination inside the system itself. When you look at your fill level, 
What you want to do is you want to make sure all your jacks are retracted, all your hydraulic slide outs are retracted, anything that's hydraulic needs to be in the retract state. Where you should fill it to is right here on the fill line. You want to fill it up to that line. If there's not a tag that says fill here, then what you want to do is you want to come up to within a quarter, well, excuse me, within a quarter inch of full is where you want to be. So within this fill cap, the top right here, you want to be within a quarter inch of that. Do not overfill your reservoir because that will cause leaks coming out from your fill cap itself. So we're going to talk about manual override now. The reasons to do a manual override is if you were to lose power to the unit, um, your power unit were to be damaged, rodents would chew your harnesses, you lose control from the touchpad to your actual power unit itself. All right, so in a manual override scenario, what we're gonna do is these two valves right here, and then there's two more valves on the back, or one valve, depending on your leveling system, we're gonna open those. I'm, it's gonna be a little bit easier to show you on this power unit. The wire colors you're looking for, if it's a four jack system, you've got green and purple, and then red and blue on the opposite side. You're gonna use a 530 seconds Allen wrench or hex key. Now keep in mind, when you open these, think of them like a left-hand thread. You turn them clockwise to open. So we're gonna turn those down until they stop. And if you notice, I'm not putting any additional torque on this. When the Allen, when this wrench stops, I stop. Do not over tighten those, do not over loosen those, because then you can damage the valve body itself. Once the valves are open, you'll repeat on the opposite side. Then you will remove the plug. On the back side of this plug is a half inch nut. You're gonna take your drill with your half inch and you're gonna run it counterclockwise. This will retract your jacks. All right, once you're done with that, once you have all your jacks fully retracted, put your Allen back in there. Now you're gonna turn this counterclockwise, just like I talked about. When it stops, you stop. Do not get in here and over torque that because you will damage those valves. There we go. Put your plug back in and you're all set. We're gonna talk about the error codes now. Error codes are displayed on the LCD touchpad. Um, a couple things we wanna talk about. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about the common error codes. Uh, one thing that you're going to see is you may see low voltage. If you have let your batteries drain down, you left your ignition on, things along that line, that can drain your batteries down. If you do get into that scenario where it says low voltage, simply start the unit, let the unit run for a little bit. Once after the unit has run, you will not have low voltage anymore. It's just, it'll be displayed right here on the LCD screen. Unfortunately, I can't show you that one because our batteries are in good shape. The next one I want to talk about is the latched retract slash service error code. This is another one I cannot show you because it does not happen often. But what will happen is all of these lights on the touchpad will blink and then you'll get an audible beeping sound from it. That is a latching error code. The only way to clear that error code is to press enter and retract at the same time. That will clear your error code. All right. Now my park brake is not set. I want to show you what happens if you don't have your park brake set. If I hit auto level, it'll tell me that my park brake is not engaged and then it'll prompt me to go ahead and engage my park brake. All right, so my park brake is now on. All I have to do to clear the error code is press enter, and now I can go ahead and auto level. There's another thing that you can do on this. Let's say you're sitting here, you're leveling the system, you're not moving around, and somebody outside sees something, sees a cell phone under a jack, or something along that line. You need to interrupt the level process at any time, or auto retract for that matter. Every button on the touchpad is an emergency stop. Any one of them. So if I hit rear, it's going to say error function abort, press enter to clear. This stops the system in its tracks from what it was doing. All right. 
So to clear this error code, I simply press enter and I'm right back to where I was. Now I'm going to disengage the park brake. And if you watch, immediately as soon as I do that, the jacks were part way down, it goes into an emergency retract mode. This prevents you from driving off with your jacks deployed. Once it's done, it'll say ready jacks up and you're good to go. Now, with this leveling system, you'll notice right here on the bottom of it, it says read operation manual before using. Do not use for tire removal or under vehicle service. This system is not designed for any type of undercarriage maintenance, changing tires, things along that line. This is solely a leveling system. It is unsafe to be underneath there with the jacks deployed without the proper safety precautions. All right. If you have any further questions, please do not feel, please feel free, sorry, to, to, please feel free to contact LCI at LCI1.com. Uh, you can contact, you can look up owner's manuals, troubleshooting guides, videos there. You can also chat online with one of our customer care specialists, or you can call us. The number's right on the website, and we'll be happy to help you guys.